Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Pastor Tim, and listen, it is my earnest prayer and desire that every sinner, every backslider, every unbeliever would make a conscious effort in this season to respond to the love of Jesus, accept him in your heart, and profess these very words that I'm getting ready to sing and just say, I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world, I'm coming home, let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday, I know my kingdom waits, and they've forgiven my mistakes, I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming. Come on, y'all, let's party this morning. Let's go. One, two, three, say. Staring into your eyes makes my heart come alive. Yeah. Suddenly brought to life when I met you. Reaching beyond the sky, running deep. Love realized here with you. Woo! Come on, move. If love is for real, you will never let go, never let go. Oh, there's more than just words. I'll be on my control, out of control. Let's go. Say, this is real love. This is real love. your hands right now God we say thank you for your presence that we feel right now we thank you that your love is real 
it's unconditional it's constantly chasing me down and I say thank you I can't mess it up I can't send it away God we say thank you thank you thank you thank you for the love of Jesus just take a minute and lift your hands and just begin to worship them. shot right there I shall rise I shall be I shall go in victory no weapon formed formed against me will ever overtake me I shall I shall be, I shall go ah. in victory. No weapon formed, formed against me. Listen, will ever overtake me. Come on, lift your hands and say, it's the greatest. It's the greatest power. Sin, I know that he is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, you declare say. What is he all? Never be defeated. Somebody stretch your hands and worship him right now. That's his stay right there. That's a good place to praise him right there. So I shall know. I shall be. I shall go. Victory. No weapon for. Hey, hung against me. Well, forever, overtake me when we know God is the greatest power. We shall never ever be defeated. Yeah, and because God is the greatest. And because God, great power, we shall never, ever be defeated. And because God, is a great power, great power, we shall never be defeated. Hey, I got good news for you. Devil is a liar. Hey. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Hey. Never be defeated. Come on, you say. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. God is exalted. Never be defeated. No, 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 never, 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 no, no. Devil is a liar. Come on, bring singer, dog.
Never be defeated. I want to declare over your life it's greatest power. Last time, we shall never. Last time, never be Hi, and welcome to our service. If you're new here, you may be wondering who we are and what this church is all about. Well, the heart of the matter is this. We're a group of people doing our best to love God and love those around us. One of the ways we express this love is through worship because our God is truly amazing. He created everything, great and small, and His love for us is incredible, powerful, and completely unconditional. We also spend time looking into His Word, the Bible, and receive practical teaching to guide us along His path in our everyday lives. But it doesn't end when the service is over. Throughout the week, we gather in groups to serve, pray, reach out to our community, and sometimes just to hang out and have fun. Life is full of challenges, and none of us are perfect. But we believe that's one of the reasons God has brought us together. We're all here to help and support each other through each step of life's journey, because nobody should have to travel alone. So thanks for joining us today. No matter who you are, we want you to know you are welcome.
Divine Encounter London, UK. It's time to experience the annual Freedom and Healing Conference by Dunamis Upper Room Fire Prayer Ministry London, United Kingdom and Pastor Charles. It's time for a Divine Encounter. Spirit, Soul and Body from Wednesday, August 30th through Sunday, September 3rd. Are you looking for a change? Does your past have your mind hostage? You can't move forward into what God has for you. Life has you feeling down. Well, this is the conference for you. You will be empowered through the Word of God. Discover what God has for your life as you bring your family and friends to this dynamic, powerful, and inspiring conference. Date Wednesday, August 30th to Sunday, September 3rd four-day in-person evening session at the venue. Wednesday to Saturday, 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. General Deliverance. Private in-person one-on-one prayer counseling, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. daily, registration required. Two-day morning online session, prayer fest and deliverance via Zoom only. Online Zoom meeting ID 886-8860-4935, passcode 076487, Thursday and Friday, 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Sunday, September 3rd, 2023 at 11 a.m., Anointing and Thanksgiving Service. Venue, Durning Hall Community Center, Aston Mansfield, Earlham Grove. Forest Gate, London, E79AB, United Kingdom. Admission is free. Registration required. To avoid disappointment, register now for a private session. Please get in touch with our booking team directly at 447438-281759 or 447440463840. Invite your friends. Indeed, the presence of God is here. Shout hallelujah, shout Jericho destroying hallelujah, the hour has come, 
the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, oh yes, the hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, oh yes, the hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, oh yes. The hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name, oh yes. The hour has come, the hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come. The hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come. The moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. Oh yes, the hour has come, the hour has come. The moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come. The moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come. The moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, oh yes, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, oh yes. The hour has come, oh yes, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come, the hour has come, the moment is here, Jesus, glorify your name. The hour has come. Shout Alleluia! Shout a Jericho war, destroying Alleluia! There is power. There is power. There is. Power in the blood of Yeshua. Power, there is power. Oh yes, sir. there is power. Oh yes, there is power in the blood of Yeshua. Power, there is power. 
There is power. There is power in the blood of Yeshua. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Yeshua. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Yeshua. Power. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of you. Power, there is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of yes. Power, there is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of yes. Power, there is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Oh yes, there is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of Yeshua. Hallelujah, 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 amen, 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 amen. I want to welcome you today to such a rugged time like this. In the presence of the Almighty God, as I welcome you, wherever you are hearing me today, I want you to pray this prayer as it is written in the book of Revelations, chapter 12 and verse 11. What did the Bible tell you and I? It said, For we overcame Zugu Zugu. By the blood of the Lamb of God and by the word of our testimony. If you believe in that scripture, I want you to stand upon the scripture. You know, I used to say, I am standing upon the word of God. The word of God is powerful. I am standing upon the word of God. The word of God is powerful. I am standing upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I am standing upon the word of God. The word of God is power. Right there where you are. I like you to say with me loud and clear. I overcome the devil. By the blood of the Lamb of God, in the name of Yeshua Kodesh, open your mouth and pray like that. Overcome the devil by the power in the blood of the Lamb of God. Overcome the devil, overcome the devil. Open your mouth and pray. I overcome the devil by the power in the blood of the Lamb of God. Yes, it's by fire, by fire. Is by fire by fire. Is by fire by fire. Overcome. Say it. Say it. Say it. Yes. Overcome the devil. Overcome the devil. Say it with your mouth. Say it with your mouth. Say it with your mouth. Overcome the devil. Where's Lucy? Where's Lucy? Overcome the devil. Right there where you are. Overcome the devil. I hear Lucy. Overcome the devil, oh. Yes, I overcome the devil by the power in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. Overcome the devil. Overcome the devil. Overcome the devil in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Overcome the devil. The Bible says that by the power of the blood of the Lamb of God, that you and me overcame the devil. Take your place as a child of God. Take your place as a daughter of God. Overcome the devil. Overcome the devil. Overcome the devil. Overcome the devil. Every devil in your community, every devil in your area, whether you are in New York or Long Island, wherever you are in Queens 
or Brooklyn, anywhere you are. You could be in Canada, you could be in London, you could be in Africa, you could be in California. Open your mouth and cry. You can be in Florida. Open your mouth and pray. You can be in Belgium. You can be in Germany. You can be in Holland. Open your mouth and pray. You can be in South Africa. You can be in Botswana. Open your mouth and pray. Overcome every devil that stand before you. If by fire, by fire. He by fire by fire, he by fire by fire. I overcome the devil. Every devil I signed against my life. I overcome the devil. I overcome the devil. Every devil in your marriage. Overcome the devil. Every devil in your career. Overcome the devil. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Overcome the devil. Overcome the devil. Every devil I signed against your life and destiny. Overcome the devil in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. I overcome the devil by the power in the blood of the Lamb of God. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Overcome the devil. Overcome the devil. Every devil in your job. Every devil in your family. Every devil in your career. The Bible says in the book of Revelation 12 and 11, for we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb of God. Overcome him. Overcome him. And him is me. Is me, O oh Lord. Standing. In the need of prayer, O oh Lord, is me, O oh, is me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother, not my sister, but is me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer, O oh, is me, O oh, is me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Beloved, make up your mind today. Where we are going today is very far. Some people will be left behind. So I'm, I'm appealing to you to be ready. Remember what I told you. The law of one. If your mind is not here, command your mind to come to the resting place. There shall be no wandering of spirit or soul. Because if you do, that means the witchcraft are formed and so tied against you. It's me, oh, it's me, O oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, oh, it's me, O oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer, not my brother, not my sister, not my father, but is me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer, O oh Lord, is me, is me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. The Bible says that, O oh, thou that hearest prayer. There is a God that hears prayer. The book of Daniel says, Unto those that do know the God that they serve. Many come to church, they don't know the God. They have no personal experience to know which God do I serve. We saw in the book of First King, Elijah knew the God that he served. And he called upon the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob. He poured water on top of raw meat. He poured water on top of wood. Those that do know, he told them, he said, You that know your God, Balala, go and call Balala. Oh. And they called Balala. Balala did not answer. They told their skin. They said, Balala. Oh. Balala was sleeping. He said, wake him up. 
peradventure that your God is sleeping. Wake him up. If you know the God that you serve, rise on your feet and say with me loud and clear, no weapon formed against me shall prosper in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray that prayer. No weapon formed against my family. No weapon formed against my children. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray like so. No weapon formed against me in this city, in the community. No weapon formed against me in my job. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Say it. Say it. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, open your mouth and pray. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I condemn it. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. It by fire, by fire. It by fire, by fire. It by fire, by fire. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Any tongue that rises in judgment against me, let them be condemned. Let them be condemned. Let them be condemned. Let them be condemned. Open your mouth and pray. 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 No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment, let them be condemned. Yes. Let them be condemned. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Open your mouth and pray. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I condemn it. I condemn it. I condemn it. Open your mouth and pray. That's right. That's right. That's right. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Say it. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in my business, let them be condemned. Let them be condemned. Say it. Every tongue that rises against me, let them be condemned in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. And amen. And amen. And amen. The book of Numbers 23 is telling you where we are going today. Hallelujah. Numbers 23 and verse 23. It says, Surely, what did he say? There is no enchantment against Jacob. You can put your name there. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What had God wrought? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, say it is written. Say it is written. That surely there is no enchantment against me, Pastor Charles. Put your name there. Say surely there is no enchantment against Pastor Charles. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, 
it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what had God wrought? Anywhere witches are gathered, Holy go fire pursue them. Anywhere witches are gathered, Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire destroy them. Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Anywhere witches are gathered, Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Anywhere witches are gathered, Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Anywhere witches are gathered, Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Anywhere with this Agada, only go fire pursue them, only go fire pursue them, only go fire pursue them, only go fire destroy them, only go fire pursue them, only go fire pursue them, only go fire destroy them. On the first day of the program, it was announced that those of you who they are circulating your name up and down for evil, pass it me, bring the name here, bring the name here. Someone called us yesterday and was telling us how they took her name to witch doctors across the city, across the land. And she testified that she did not know how the Lord led us to say, those of you who they have written your name down for destruction or for spell or for causes, write your own name in the plain white paper. Let us destroy the work of diabolical sorcery attached to your name. This is the upper room fire prayer ministry. I don't know about you. I don't know who circulates your name up and down. Beloved, if they don't repent in seven days, the evil that they intend to happen to you, it shall come upon them. 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 700 by 700 by 700 fold. Right there where you are. I'd like you to say with me loud and clear. Say there's no enchantment against me, neither any divination against Israel. In the name of the Lord Yeshua Kodesh, say surely there is no enchantment against me. Yes, say it. There is no enchantment against me and my family. Say surely there is no enchantment against me. Neither any division against Israel. Say it like that. There is no enchantment against me. Yes. Say it. There is no enchantment against me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh yes. And amen. And amen. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 10. And I read. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I want to stop here. Many of you who are coming here, don't waste your time here. When I say raise your voice like thunder, if I hear your voice like ice cream, I will say go away. See, beloved, you see, follow instruction. When you hear command, let your voice raise like thunder. You do know it is the sound from your voice that breaks the yoke. Do you know? There are times I will say, okay, cry unto the Lord and begin to thank God. We're in spiritual warfare. And if you cannot pray, it's okay. Good night. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't drag the prayer. Hallelujah. We're here for warfare. Hallelujah. And if you know you are here and you have not done your homework, I want to ask you, what are you doing here? 
And if you don't know the whole work, why don't you ask us so we can give you the whole work? People are already testifying. One day already, the one day has passed, or two days. Where's your testimony? Hallelujah. This is overcoming diabolical witchcraft. This is not Sunday school service. This is spiritual warfare, please. If you want to hear see, call, see, call, see, go somewhere else. This is world fair. Please. I am begging us. Hallelujah. This is do it yourself. Nobody will do it for you. You have to pray. Pray for your family. Pray for yourself. There's time when the pastor will pray for you. But please, I beg you, let your faith arise. Please pray. Garner some energy, some strength. Pray. If you lose your voice, it's okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understand that as we are gathering now to pray, which is also the gather to hear what we are going to talk about. I mean, don't you know? Huh? And they begin to scan. They have what they call the scanner agent. Don't you know what they call scanner agent? I taught you before. They can scan and know she is not praying. Attack her. Then you begin to say, oh, pastor, how they did they attack you? Why would they attack you on fire? Well, prayer thunder. Prayer fire, why are they attacking you? Hallelujah. Please, understand. We are on the mountain top. Father, don't let us down. Empower me, O oh God, till I we overcome. I am on the mountain top. Father, don't let us down. Empower me, O oh God, till I we overcome. On the mountain top, we are on the mountain top. Father, don't let us down. Empower me, O oh God, till I we overcome. I am on the mountain top. Father, don't let us down. Empower me, O oh God. Till I we overcome. I am on the mountain top. Father, don't let me down. Empower me, O oh God. Till I we overcome. I am on the mountain top. Oh yes. Father, don't let me down. Oh. Empower me, O oh God. Till I we overcome. I am on the mountain top, oh yes, Father, don't let me down, no. Empower me, O oh God, till I we overcome. Shout hallelujah. The Bible says, finally, finally, my people, be strong in the Lord and in the power of the might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to do what? To do what? To stand against all the tricks, all the wise of the devil. For us to be able to overcome, we need to put on the armor of God. For the Bible says, For we wrestle not against flesh or blood, but we are against forces of darkness, zugu zugu in spirit, principalities and powers, and all the rulers of darkness in the world and against spiritual zugu zugu in high places. I did not write the Bible. It's in your Bible. Right there where you are. I like you to say with me loud and clear. I put on the whole armor of Christ. I put on the whole armor of Christ in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Oh yes. I put on the armor of Christ. I put on the armor of Christ. Put it on, put it on, put it on, put it on. Oh yes, I put on the whole armor of Christ in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. I put on the whole armor of Christ, the helmet of salvation, 
the breastplate of righteousness. I have put on the armor of Christ. Put it on. Put it on. The whole armor of Christ. I have put on the armor of Christ. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Put on the armor of Christ. Put on the armor of Christ. Aha. I put on the helmet of salvation. I put on the breadth of righteousness. I put on the shield of faith. I put on the belt of truth. I put on the shoe ready for the gospel of peace. I put on the sword of fire. Put it on. 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 The armor of Christ. The armor of Christ. And amen. And amen. And amen. Say this with me loud and clear. I fire back every witchcraft arrow in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray that prayer. I fire them back every witchcraft arrow fired against my life and destiny. I fire them back every witchcraft arrow fired against my life and destiny. I fire them back every witchcraft arrow fired against my life and destiny. I fire them back every witchcraft arrow fired against my business, fired against my children, fired against your life. Let the arrow of darkness, let it backfire, let it backfire, fire back all the arrows. Far into your life and destiny, every satanic arrow, every diabolical arrow, fired into your life, fire them back, 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 in the name of the Lord Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I fire back every witchcraft arrow. Fired against my life and destiny in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Fire them back. Fire them back. Every satanic arrow. Every diabolical arrow. Fired against your life and destiny. Fire them back in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mommy pray, mommy pray, mommy pray, mommy pray, mommy pray, mommy pray, mommy pray. Fire them back, fire them back. Don't be quiet. Don't negotiate. Don't compromise. Fire them back, fire them back, fire them back. Every satanic arrow fired against your life. Fire them back in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. I fire back. Every satanic arrow fired against my life and destiny. I fire them back. I fired, fire them back. Don't have any mercy. No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. I return him back to the sender. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Return him back. Return him back. Every diabolical arrow. Every diabolical intention against your life. Return him back to the sender. I fire back every diabolical arrow, every witchcraft arrow, fired against my life. I fire them back in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Fire them back. And amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. That wonderful name. Yes, why that wonderful name? 
Yeshua, oh yes, that wonderful name, hallelujah. Yeshua, there is no other name I know. As you lay your hand upon your head and the other hand on your belly, lay your hand upon your head and the other hand on your belly. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. No other name than the name of Jesus. No other name than the name of Jesus. No other name than the name of Yeshua. No other name than the name of Yeshua. Amen. Say with me loud and clear. Any power. Assigned to sacrifice my life in exchange of their own life. Any power assigned to sacrifice you in exchange of their own life. Die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray the prayer. Whosoever that want to sacrifice you in exchange, I command them to die. Any man or woman that want to sacrifice you for exchange, die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Yes, I am praying for you. I am praying for you. Whosoever that want to sacrifice your life or your children's life in exchange of their life, God will punish them. God will destroy them. God will punish them. God will destroy them. Open your mouth and pray. Any power assigned to sacrifice me for their own life. Take my place and die. Take my place and die. Pray the prayer in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Whosoever that want to sacrifice you and your children, take their place, die. 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 It by fire by fire. It by fire by fire. It by fire by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Whosoever assigned to sacrifice you for their own life. Let them die in the name of the Lord Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and cry out. Say whosoever, any man or woman, any demonic entity, any personality assigned to sacrifice me for their own life. A coup, a coup. Die, 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 die. Yes, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Whosoever, whosoever that have been assigned to sacrifice you for their own life, let them perish. 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 Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Cry out loud and clear. Whosoever assigned to sacrifice me for their own life, you will die. You. Thunder of the living God. Massacre them. Destroy them. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. 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 In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Any power anywhere that have been assigned to sacrifice me or my children for their own life. You are a crazy idiot. Die by fire. Die by oh yes. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, whosoever, 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 whosoever assigned against you, let them die by fire. And amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom 
Kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom, kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom, kingdom come by fire, by fire. Hey, kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom, kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom, kingdom come by fire, by fire. Kingdom come by fire, by fire. Oh, kingdom come. Say this loud and clear. I reject every diabolical witchcraft transfer. I reject every diabolical witchcraft transfer. Say it again, say it again, say it again. I reject every diabolical witchcraft transfer in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Reject it. Reject it. Every diabolical witchcraft transfer. Open your mouth and reject it. Reject it. Reject it. Reject it. For your children. For your marriage. For your children. For your marriage. Reject it. Every diabolical witchcraft transfer. Reject it. Reject it. Reject it. And amen. And amen. And amen. We we'll have cases. Where somebody will be buried, you say, Oh, auntie is gone. At the lower auntie in the grave, somebody will die after the burial. Say, Ah, did you notice that? That sister that came, she died yesterday. Ah, what happened? Thunder destroyed them. Devil destroyed. Look, anyone that wants to use you or your children to elongate their life in this world. It shall backfire. 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 Right there where you are. I like you to say with me loud and clear. Any man or woman that wants to use me and my children to save their life, to elongate their own life. Yes. Say any man or woman that wants to use me and my children to save their own life. I am not a sacrifice. I am not a sacrifice. Ah! I am not a sacrifice. Say it. 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 I am not a sacrifice. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb of God. My children and me, we are redeemed by the power in the blood of Yeshua. I am not a sacrifice. I am the redeemed of the Lamb of God. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Blood of Yeshua. Yeshua has redeemed me, has redeemed you, has redeemed me, has redeemed you. The power and the power of the love of God has redeemed you, has redeemed me. So you are not a sacrifice right there where you are. I like you to say with me loud and clear, any man or woman that wants to use me and my children to save their own life, and locate their own life, die by fire. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, open your mouth and pray. Oh yes, oh yes, open your mouth and pray. Whosoever that wants to use you and your children to locate their life, die, die, yes, oh yes, oh yes. Fire is burning, oh, no. die, die, yes, oh yes. Oh yes, die, die, yes, oh yes. The fire is burning, the fire is burning. I decree holy judgment upon them. Die, die, yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, die, die, yes, oh yes, 
whosoever, 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 whosoever. Oh yes, let them die, 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 let them die. Let oh yes, any man or woman that wants to use you and your children to elongate their life, let them die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Whosoever, any man or woman that wants to use you or your children for their own life, thunder of God, tear that behind, tear that bomb bomb, tear that, oh, thunder of the living God, tear them, 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 tear them. Let their behind catch fire. Let their behind catch fire. Let their behind catch fire. Explode. 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 Whosoever, any man or woman that wants to use our children for sacrifice, let their bomb bomb catch fire. Explode. 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 And amen. And amen, and amen. Say what God has for me, let it be mine. What God has for me, let it remain mine. Let no man or woman steal it. Say what God has for me and my children, let it be for me and my children. Say it. What God has for me and my children, let it be for me and my children. Say it again. What God has for me and my children, let it be for me and my children. Let no man, let no woman steal it. Steal it. Steal it. Yes. And amen. And amen. And amen. See, every strange money, Assigned to pollute my money. They give you some money. Because they know you are going through a lot. Like the sister in Canada. She had no job. She met one brother, Michael. That was how the brother gave her money and took her car and took her house. Who is giving you strange money? Close your eyes. See, every strange money assigned to pollute my money. Say it again, say it again. Every strange money assigned to pollute my money. Catch fire. And be destroyed in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Every strange money assigned to pollute your money, let it begin to catch fire. Every strange money assigned to pollute your money, let it begin to catch fire. Every strange money assigned to pollute your money, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Cut fire. Cut. Yes, pray that prayer. Every strange money assigned to pollute your money. Let that strange money catch the fire of the living God. Receive fire. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Oh yes. Every strange money assigned to pollute my money. Every strange money assigned to pollute my money. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. And amen. And amen. See, every diabolical king ruling in my life. You know, we saw in the book of Isaiah, and I will take you there. There was a diabolical king that was ruling in the life of the people. And Elijah, Isaiah the prophet could not see God. Are you here today? There is a diabolical Zuguzugu king ruling your marriage, ruling your career, 
ruling your ministry. Look, when God, when God will open your eye and show you some secret, that the enemy of your marriage is next door to you. The enemy of your marriage is not too far away from you. If you blink your eye, that's the enemy. But who will tell you? You know, when I when I, I was taught in the Bible, and the Bible says that the secret things belong to God. <laughs> and the one revealed to you and me belongs to me and my children, children. So I say, so that means there are some secrets that belong to God. Are you understanding me? <laughs> if God should tell you that it is your uncle or your auntie or your auntie-in-law or your father-in-law responsible for your marriage, you say it's a lie. It's a lie. You say, blood of Jesus. How can it be? I'm serving a holy Mary God, right? If God, if you know, sometimes God wants us to mature. Say mature. When you mature, not you are not in a hurry to become anointed. I want to, I want to mature overnight. No, you will fail. When you allow God to mature, you will not become a friend of God. There are curtains. God will just open and say, see, see your enemy. You say, ah. Hallelujah. Right there where you are, as you close your eyes, say with me loud and clear, every diabolical king ruling over my life, I pull you down to lick the dust. I pull you down to lick the dust. Every diabolical king ruling over my life, pull them down. Pull them down. Pull it down. Every diabolical king ruling your life. Pull it down. Pull him down. Let him lick the dust. Let him lick the dust. Lick the dust. Lick the dust. Every diabolical king ruling over my life. I pull you down. Lick the dust. I pull you down. Lick the dust. I pull you down. Lick the dust. I pull you down, lick the dust. I pull you down, lick the dust. Pull them down. Pull them down. Pull them down. Yes, let them lick the dust. And they amen. And they amen. And they amen. We had a diabolic, a diabolical queen. <laughs> In London, ruling over marriage, a marriage. So we told the ladies that, that woman is the diabolical queen of your home. She didn't believe me. Until she was exposed. Say every diabolical queen. Say it again. Every diabolical queen ruling over my marriage, ruling over my career. Ruling over my ministry. I pull you down to lick the dust. 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 Pull them down. Every diabolical queen. Ruling over your marriage, your career. Pull them down to lick the dust. Pull them down. Diabolical queen, I pull you down. Lick the dust. Lick the dust. Lick the dust. Lick the dust. I pull you down. Every diabolical queen, ruin over my marriage, my life. I pull you down to lick the dust. Pull them down. Diabolical queen, I pull you down. Lick the dust. Pull them down. Pull them down. Pull them down. Every diabolical queen assigned against you. Pull them down. Pull them down. Pull them down. Lick the dust. Lick the dust. Pull them down. Lick the dust. Pull them down. Lick the dust. Lick the dust. 
and amen, and amen, and amen. Let me give you a very powerful secret. When you are waging war against diabolical powers, one prayer they don't like to hear is this prayer I just prayed. Hallelujah. You say, ah, so you are the one that is moving up and down. I pull you down. You hold it like that. Lick the dust. <laughs> I pull you down. Lick the dust. They hate the prayer. <laughs> Amen. They hate the prayer. Amen. You are going to pray the prayer of Isaiah chapter 6. The Bible says, In the day that the king Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Hallelujah. We saw yesterday we dealt with attack the spirit of Jezebel. You can imagine what Jezebel can be doing in somebody's life. You will not see the Lord. You will be seeing zombie. You will see that's the Lord. Until Jezebel will run away, then you begin to see the Lord. Who is the King Uzziah in your life? People will say, but pastor, what are you talking about? What, what, where is it in the Bible? Hallelujah. That is why I came loaded today. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The Bible says, In the day that the king, Uzziah, died, I saw the Lord seated on the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. That means there are diabolical kings and queens that say, over their dead body will you reign in marriage. Some people will marry and they are, they are poking them from far away country. I'm talking about that today. We are going to pray any king, any queen ruling over my life, die. That's your prayer. Don't mind words. Don't mind words. Don't mind words. Maybe you are in business. Trying to make way, get a business loan or sell your product, but you are struggling, you are looking for a job. Well, you are supposed to be a, 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 a higher level of job, employing people. Ah, the devil is a liar. There are people who are themselves multi-millionaires, but the devil is deceiving them and blinding their eyes. May every satanic veil be removed, be removed, be removed from your eye. May your way open. May you break forth in life. May you break forth in life in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Beloved, listen. If you lose your voice, it's okay. But make sure that the king and the queen that is sitting on your life die. Now hear me before I call the prayer point. One of our daughters in Maryland, we gave her some prayers to pray, which included cleansing. When she did the cleansing, she, she had a very powerful dream. She said, this pastor must be very crazy. I won't call him again. So I called her back. I said, what happened? Yeah. That, I don't know what you are doing. No, I don't know. But when I prayed the prayer, I appeared in the marine kingdom. One man says, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the wife. I said, okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I said, so what happened? Say she, she ran. After the, she was running away. She said, so you did you run out? He said, yes, I ran out. But one lady stood at the door and said, go and tell the people of the world what you have seen in the kingdom. Somebody will say, ah, this pastor, the prayer, I don't understand. Pray. Pray so you can be delivered. She prayed the prayer. She, she, she got open her eye to see she is a wife to a king in the marine kingdom. Are you a wife to an evil king? Close your eyes. Pray the prayer. I will not say amen. I'll be watching until you pray the prayer with all your heart. Close your eyes, everybody. Say with me loud and clear, every king or queen Ruling over my life and destiny. Every king or queen. Louder. Every king or queen. Ruling over my life and destiny. Fall down and die. In the name of 
love Yeshua Kodesh. Oh yes, let the evil king, every evil queen that is ruling over your life, let them begin to fall and die. Every evil king, every evil queen ruling against your life, fall down and die. Every evil king, every evil queen ruling against your life, let them fall down and die. Every evil king, every evil queen ruling over your life, let them fall down and die. Yes. Pray the prayer. Any evil queen and every evil queen opposing my life and destiny, die, 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 die. Pray the prayer. Yes, you the evil king, you the evil queen, ruin my marriage, ruin my career, die, die, die. Every evil king, every evil queen, ruin my marriage, ruin my career, ruin my business, die, 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 die. That, yes, pray the prayer. Yes, yes. He by fire by fire. He by fire by fire. He by fire by fire. Command them to die. All the evil kings and the evil queen. Command them to die. All the evil king and the evil king. Command them to die. All the evil king and the evil queen. Command them to die. Command them to die. Every evil king and evil queen. Within over your love and destiny. Command them to die. Pray the prayer. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Evil king. Evil queen. Ruling over my life and destiny. What are you waiting for? Die, 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 die. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Oh yes. Evil king. Evil queen. Ruin against my life and destiny. Die by fire. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray the prayer. Pray the prayer. Every evil king, every evil queen, ruin against my life and destiny, command them to die. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, every knee shall bow. In Jesus' name, every tongue confess. In Jesus' name, every knee shall bow. In Jesus' name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Yeshua's name, every knee shall bow. In Yeshua's name, every tongue confess. In Jesus' name, every knee shall bow. In Jesus' name, every tongue confess. In Jesus' name, every knee shall bow. In Jesus' name, every tongue confess. In Jesus' Every name, every knee shall bow. In Jesus' name, every tongue confess. Right there where you are. I'd like you to say with me loud and clear. Anything bury to bury me. <laughs> Anything bury to bury me. Die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray the prayer. Anything buried to bury you. Eku, 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 eku. Command them to die. Anything buried to bury you. Command them to die. Anything buried to bury you. Command them to die. Open your mouth and pray. Anything buried to bury me. Die, 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 die. Yes. 
Open your mouth and pray like that. Anything bury to bury me, die in the name of Yeshua. Yes. And amen. And amen. And amen. Do you understand the prayer we just prayed? Anything buried to bury me. We saw a young boy, I won't call the name of the state, took a shoebox to the graveyard and said, I bury my friend and dug a grave and put the shoebox and put an item like his rugged stick to represent the friend and buried it. Like joke, like joke, the friend died. Tell me, how can police investigate that case? So we asked, uh, what happened? Uh, I don't know. I just watched Harry Potter. So I, I decided to practicalize what I saw in the movies. I didn't know it's working. Oh, really? Close your eyes. Anything bury to bury me. Die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray that prayer. Anything bury to bury me. Die, die, yes. Pray the prayer. Pray the prayer. Pray the prayer. Anything bury to bury me. Die, die, die. Yes, yes. Command them to die. Anything bury to bury me. Die, die. Let it die. Let it die. Anything bury to bury me. Die. And amen. And amen. And amen. Say with me loud and clear. Garment of sorrow. Garment of infirmity. Prepared against me. There's somebody from Mississippi. <laughs> Mississippi, the Lord bless you. I am praying for you. That garment that they are using to cover you, they don't want you to have a vision. Let me tell you today, I decree death upon the individuals that gather themselves. I decree the decree of heaven upon every unrepentant witchcraft agent assigned against you. Hear me. Let their iniquity Come upon them 700 by 700 by 700 fold. Say with me loud and clear. Garment of sorrow. Garment of infirmity. Catch fire. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray that prayer. Command the garment of infirmity. The garment of sorrow, shame, and disgrace to catch fire. To catch fire. Every garment of sorrow, every garment of shame and disgrace, catch fire. Be roasted. Be roasted now. Be roasted. Be roasted now. Be roasted. Be roasted. Yes. Every garment of sorrow, shame, and disgrace, infirmity, program against you, it shall catch fire. It shall catch fire. It shall catch fire. It shall catch fire and be roasted. And be roasted. And be roasted. And amen. And amen. And amen. Shout hallelujah. I want to say on behalf of my family, the directors and the trustees of this great ministry all over the world, in New York, Mississippi, Canada, and also in London, thank you, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for taking the difficult time to connect with this ministry. And to those our return Subscribers, our partners, we welcome you back. You know, we miss you. Yeah. Just to let you know, there are changes that have occurred in the ministry and we have determined to put things right going forward within the ministry. So we want to welcome all our old members back. Those of you in New York, we welcome you back again. God bless you. Amen. Our, new, our old members, we welcome you. Hallelujah. As we put things in order in New York, also in Mississippi, all over the world, in London and in Canada. So we welcome all of our members to come back. 
Hallelujah. This is the house of prayer. Hallelujah. And I want to say thank you for always being there for us in this ministry, supporting us. Those of you who sponsor the, or the pastor, each time the pastor is traveling, many of you, you go out of your way to buy the ticket and pay the hotel. So I want to say to you, we appreciate you, we love you, and we thank you. Those of you who are great givers, we know you are you in, you in New Jersey. I don't want to call your name. You in Africa. You in Florida. Amen. We say we love you and we appreciate you. You in New York. We say we appreciate you. All over the world. You in London. The great givers. God bless you in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. And if I don't call your name, I did not forget. I, I thank God for you. We reward you and we bless you in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Please. Do not fail to send your prayer request. I did counseling last night to our, one of our pastors, our ministers, to hear the strange testimony of what is happening in their life. And I told her, it shall come to pass <laughs> that the iniquity of the wicked shall come upon the wicked. You know, when I say certain things, I'm not joking, no. <laughs> I say it again. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah. So be encouraged. Those of you on training, hang in there and be encouraged as you go through the ropes and grow and grow and be beautiful as the Lord wants you to be in the work of ministry. Let God use you. God does not use Anyone that is not broken. Amen. I was broken down. He picked me up. Amen. I gave up. He picked me up. He will pick you up too. Amen. Let God use you. Amen. Let God use you. In the name of Yeshua. God bless you. Veronica, God bless you. I did not forget about you. Amen. God bless you. I'm praying for you, Veronica. God bless you, Sister Lucy. I did not forget Lucy. Amen. I'm praying for you. Amen. You know I'm praying for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Tonight is a rugged service and rugged night. Tonight's teaching is centered about destroying diabolical witchcraft cauldron. Let me pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you, I will honor, I will bless you. Thank you for your grace, your might, and your power. Unto the holy ancestors, unto the Holy Spirit, unto the city of Jerusalem, unto the saints of heaven, how much we love and appreciate you. Unto the warriors, the rugged warriors, we say we appreciate you, we're so grateful for everything that you have done and everything you're about to do. I want to say thank you ahead of time for yokes being destroyed. Thank you ahead of time for deliverance. We pray today that let every gate, every door, and every portal open against us in between the world be closed now in the blood of the Lamb of God. Every witchcraft and diabolical soul ties formed through our voice, through our picture, I sever it, I burn it, I sever it, I burn it, I sever it, I burn it. Father, we all know you today. Unto everywhere the sound of my voice is heard. Ha, Daddy, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, Elohim. Use my voice as a pen of ready writer. Transmit my voice. In that room, in that hotel room, let thunder strike. In that house, let thunder strike. In that place, let thunder strike. Daddy, 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 let them know your presence is with me. In that place, let fire strike. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle King God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. 
Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Covenant keeper. You are the covenant keeper. Oh yes. Commando a miracle. A miracle today. You will do a miracle. A miracle today. Great physician. You are the great physician. Oh yes. You will do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. For all the miracle signs and wonders, for healing my sister. And my brother, I'm bringing about deliverance. I stand before you, almighty God. And I vow, I will give you the praise. Yes. And I vow, I will give you the honor. And I vow, I will give you the glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. Come and take the praise. Come and take the glory. Come and take the honor. For great and mighty thing you've done in the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. And amen. And amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus, Yeshua Kodesh. To some of you who are here for the first time, I pray in the name of Yeshua. It has nothing to do with your denomination, whether you pray in the name of Jesus. I just want to say simply it's because I found his real name. <laughs> Even. Even. So please permit me when you see me, I switch to Yeshua Mashiach. Even. Nothing against you. Even. I still like to call him Jesus. But you know, I told my angels, that if, I, if you hear me say Jesus, you know I'm talking about who? Yeshua Kodesh. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the Bible says, Unto the Romans, I shall be unto the Romans as the Romans. I shall be unto the Greeks as the Greeks. I will be unto you as you. So I will relate with you. I will come to your level. I will talk. Ask me questions. I would answer. Amen. You know, this ministry will believe that through knowledge, our people are delivered. Amen. And I want to say I'm so grateful to my, my, my late dad and my late mom for the rugged impartation. And I'm so grateful to my father in the Lord, the ones alive and the one that has gone to be with the Lord. All of them are my mother in the Lord. All the prophets, all the pastors that are hearing me today, you know I appreciate you. It's because of you I'm here today. I went through the fire, I came out. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for all the teachers. I was trained by a village. And so I'm very grateful for everybody, all the community that has, you know, come together to help me, to raise me up to who I am today. Amen. Thank you very much. In the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Kodesh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today's topic is destroying diabolical core drums. Say destroying. Diabolical core drums. Say it again. Say destroying. Diabolical core drums. We are going to go to the book of Ezekiel chapter 11 to see the Bible talking about core drums and some parts. I have to lay that scripture down. Those of us who are not used to deliverance, those of us who are just driving through, and you are not used to such prayer. It's okay. Uh, there, are diff there are about seven kinds of prayer. We are in spiritual warfare prayer. So there is prayer of love, prayer of um, uh, thanksgiving, prayer of praise, prayer of petition, prayer of supplication, prayer of deliverance. This one you are coming to the prayer of spiritual warfare. <laughs> Amen. So please don't be disappointed. Just embrace it. And if you don't know how to pray, learn today. Amen. 
Find the sisters you can see on Zoom. Sister Rita is there. Sister Beatrice is there. And all of them here. And they will teach us how to pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So Ezekiel chapter 11. And I will read from verse 3 to 8. Please pay attention. Don't sleep. Oh. If you know you are feeling sleep, you can get uh, ice block. We are diving deep tonight. Go and get ice block. If you know you are feeling sleepy, <laughs> go and get ice block and hold it in your hand and put it in your face. I refuse to sleep. <laughs> Amen. Father, I bind the spirit of slumbering that have been fired against these ones. You hearing me now? Every arrow of the spirit of slumber assigned against you, I bind that arrow. And I cast them out to Sheol. And I protect you with the helmet of salvation. In the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us see what the Bible talks about cauldrons. As we dive deep today in Jesus name. He said, which say it is not near. What did he say? He said, let us build houses. Then he said, that city, in that place, not the city I live in, <laughs> is a cauldron, and their flesh will be there. So, see, I'm very, I'm teaching you how to talk, so you don't put yourself in trouble. Say, so that city is the cauldron, <laughs> and their flesh is in the cauldron. I'm teaching you how to talk now, so you don't go and put yourself in the trouble. Amen. So let them build houses. Say that this city that they are living, not this one, their own city over there. Say so that's the city, amen. Is their cauldron. And their flesh will be found in the cauldron. Amen. Say this city is not my cauldron. Say it. This city is not my cauldron. Say it again. This city is not my cauldron. And my flesh shall not be found in the cauldron. All right. Therefore, prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. And the spirit of the living God fell upon me and said unto me, Speak, thus said the Lord, thus have you said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that have come to your mind, Every one of them, you have multiplied your slain in the city. Did you see? The cauldron is where they slay people. Did you see your Bible? That's where they slay people. And you have filled the streets thereof with the slain. Then four seven nine says, Therefore, thus said the Lord God, your slain. Whom you have laid in the midst of it, they are the what? Flesh. And this city is their cauldron. Did you see? Say, my flesh shall not be found in any cauldron. You, did you see your Bible now? But I will bring you forth out of the midst of it. I am praying for you. If you are hearing me today, maybe your flesh is in the cauldron. I pray that God Almighty will bring you out from them in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 8. Say, you have feared the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you, said the Lord God. And I will bring you out of the midst thereof, and deliver you into the hands of what? Strangers. And will execute what? Judgment upon you. I have told us many time and time and time again. Learn to pray, execute judgment. You can see God is teaching us in the scripture. He said what? And I will bring you out of the means of them thereof. And I will deliver you and your children into the hands of strangers. And I will what? execute what? Judgment. As a child of God, what do you think God's throne is for? The throne of God is for justice and judgment. Look, don't joke. <laughs> God. The throne of God is for justice and judgment. 
Let me continue. I don't want to talk. Let me just be preaching. Amen. Verse 10. You shall fall by the sword. I will judge you in the border of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. That it now says in verse 11. Read to everybody. One, two, let's go. Read it loud and clear. This city shall not be my cauldron. Neither shall my flesh be found in the midst thereof, but I will judge you in the borders of Israel. Say it again. I can't hear your voice. Uh huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to go to Micah chapter 3 and verse 1 to 3. The book of Micah chapter 3 and verse 1 to 3. And I said, Hear, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Are you seeing what God is telling you? Who hate the good and love the evil? Hmm. I will go somewhere to do. Who pluck off their skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones? Hmm. Hmm. Who also eat the flesh of my people? and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones, and chop them into pieces, as for what? The pot, and as the flesh, within where? Within where? The cauldron. So I want to, I'm showing you what is going on. So you don't call my name and say, oh, this pastor, look, don't call my name, thunder will destroy you. You can see what the Bible is saying, what a cauldron is. Where they eat the flesh of people, they flay their skin off their body, they break their bones into pieces, and they put them in a pot within a cauldron. People think it's a, it's a Disney to become a member of a cauldron. They think it is guy. They think it's a new age practice. I'm a member. Oh, hey, just joined. So yeah, it's zugu zugu. Hey, eh? Hello. Did you see that? Are you see what the Bible is saying? In the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 17 and verse 18. What did he say? Read for me. Let them be confounded that persecute what? Me. But let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed. But let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil. And destroy them with double destruction. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. The Bible says, He disappointed the device. Of the crafty. Who is the crafty? The Zugu Zugu. He disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their evil enterprise. I am praying for you that the Lord shall disappoint the devices of your enemy. I am praying for you that the Lord shall disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their evil enterprise.
Isaiah 49 and verse 24. Isaiah 49 and verse 24. If you are sleeping, shout hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Shall they pray be taken away from the mighty? Or the lawful captive delivered. But thus hear the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save your children. God is saying that. If you are a captive in a Zuguzugu quadrum, he wants to deliver you today. He wants to contend with them that contend with you. He wants to save you and your children. God is saying to that sister, come out of them. Separate yourself from the covenant. Not one, not Michael Jackson, Billy Jean, one leg in, one leg out, one leg in. Today you are born again, tomorrow you are a member of the COVID. You are wondering, oh, Pastor, I'm praying, I'm praying. Oh. Ah, you are praying, you are praying. Make up your mind, leave the COVID. Leave the COVID. What did I say? Leave the COVID. Hallelujah. You cannot be serving two masters, one leg here, one leg there. You are confusing yourself. Choose the one to serve. The Bible says, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that what? That contended with thee. And I will save thy children. God said, He will save your children. He will save your children. He will save your children. He said, He will save your children in the mighty name. Of Yeshua Kodesh and Amen. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 18. Everybody read together loud and clear. Say loud and clear. Everybody together. One, two, let's go. And what? Louder. And what? Say it again. And and the Lord shall deliver you from every evil work and shall preserve you unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. So I want to talk about destroying diabolical pots. Destroying diabolical pots. Or destroying diabolical cauldron. We saw in the book of Ezekiel that the Bible tells us what a cauldron is. In Ezekiel chapter 11. Hallelujah. The Bible describes what a cauldron is. In fact, Micah tells us what they do in the cauldron. But Ezekiel defined the cauldron for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Ezekiel talked about the cauldron. He said, he said to them that, that let them build a house for this city is the cauldron and their flesh shall be in the cauldron. Then he went down to 11. Then the born again now shouted. He said, This city shall not be my cauldron. And neither shall my flesh be found in the midst of the cauldron. Say with me, everybody, This city shall not be my cauldron. Neither shall my flesh be in the midst thereof. This city shall not be my cauldron. Neither shall my flesh be in the midst thereof. This shall not be my cauldron. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. So what is a cauldron? What is a cauldron? Cauldrons are pots. Cauldrons are pots. Most are eating clay pots. Diabolical cauldrons are the weapons of witchcraft. Individuals, families, and cities, they can own cauldrons. Who are the people that can own a cauldron? Individuals, families, they can own a cauldron. A cauldron is a pot, an eighteen vessel. And I will talk about the meaning of the pot in the spiritual realm. When you hear, when you hear, look, listen to me, this is up and I don't have time. I will teach it. I will tell you the meaning of a eighteen clay pot. Why an eighteen clay pot is very deadly. When you know, you know. I don't have time. I know. People don't understand. You are in America. I'm in America. Come and see America Wonder. Come and see America Wonder. Came to America many years ago. I said, Ah, America is so cute. Ah, everything is Disney. Come and see. They lie. I was shocked. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So, diabolical cauldrons are eating clay pots. And they are weapons of witchcraft. I'm saying the truth today. It is not that witchcraft owns the clay pots. No. Don't get me wrong. Witchcraft don't own the clay pot because in those days, before there was aluminum pots, and steel pot. What pot were they using? It's the clay pot. You get the pot? You understand me? So the witches don't own any pot. They are only thieves. Zuku, zuku. They are using what nature gave to us. You understand me? So I can teach it. This I know the whole mathematics and equation. Okay? So hear me. Because if you want to destroy a cauldron, you must know what it is. They are spiritually transferred from one generation onto another generation. It's a pot. A diabolical cauldron, when I mean diabolical, the one that can haunt the souls of men. When the Bible says, would you haunt the souls that are, are, are alive and say the one that's supposed to die? That is the pot, the cauldron, the hunters of men. A diabolical cauldron can be kept for each child in the family and it contains the personal effect and the particular child, the baby's hair, the baby's blood, the baby's fingernails, and the baby's placenta, and the baby's clotting material can be kept inside the, the pot. There is a deeper dimension I'm going to teach in a secret way. How you can hide your life from every zugu zugu. They will try, nothing will happen. This upper room. <clears throat> oh God. Hallelujah. What is a diabolical witchcraft cauldron? The cauldron, the lives of human beings. The lives of cities, of nations, and other entities are programmed into this diabolical cauldron. People's lives are programmed into the pot. People's business, people's um, uh, cities, entities are programmed into these diabolical cauldrons. These cauldrons exist in most cultures in the world. It's in America now. 
in Canada now because I heard about a case in Canada about a, about a month or two ago. People from the uh, Caribbean, I will call that country from the Caribbean, and they brought the cold drum to Canada. So you are, you, you are in Toronto, you are all kind of oh, bloody Jesus, uh, think again. Is is there now? Even where you are living is there now. They exist in the cultures of the world. They exist in Africa. They exist in Asia. They exist in Latino. The enemy uses diabolical cauldrons to do a lot of evil diabolically. I'm teaching deep secrets today. Cauldron, diabolical cauldron, can be positioned in several different ways. For example, they can be fully buried or suspended. They can be partially buried or hung. Sometimes some people will hang something like a pot and you will see birds will come and be perching on it. You say, oh, nice flower. But me, I know it's not flower, nothing. That's a cauldron. I will just laugh. <laughs> when you know, you know. People's lives and even the lives of those cities and communities are programmed into these cauldrons. In the cauldron or the pot, they are manipulated and they are controlled. So, a single cauldron or port can control the affairs of the whole city. A single cauldron can control all the affairs of a human being or even a family. Cauldrons are deadly. I repeat, cauldrons are deadly. Now, if you are here, and you, I know many of you will say yes, yes, Pastor. And you want to know a divine secret on how or what to do so that no matter where they carry your name to, it will just nothing will work. I will, I will teach you, but I won't teach it here because this is a public view. But those of you who want private counseling, I will teach you private what you need to do privately. This is upper room. Hallelujah. A single cauldron can control the affairs of the whole city. What is Christian doing? That busy doing evangelism. Be born again. Destroy the cauldron first of all. Address the cauldron of the city. Come against the cauldron. Command thunder. Lash the cauldron. Pa! Confront them. Spiritual warfare. In those days, our fathers, who were apostles, who were evangelists, before they would, they would take over, have a church, they would march around the city at night, destroying covens, destroying corner. What are you doing? Eh? How many covens have you destroyed? How many altars have you burned down? How many? Challenge their coven, their cordon, burn it down, destroy it with prayer. With prayer, not with the kerosene. Very simple. Many years ago, we had a case. They had a, a coven meeting somewhere in town. And a brother who was part of the coven before, now born again, now said, Pastor, Pastor, they have a meeting. So they went there. I won't call his name. <laughs> Amen. So when they went to the place, they parked the car. 
they were shouting, Blood of Yeshua, 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 Blood of Yeshua. The priest stood up. I said, ah, we don't know what's going on here. We don't understand. Meeting dismissed, meeting closed. No more COVID meeting today. Within 15 minutes, they were coming out of the, the building, entering their car. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power. Awesome power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. God is looking for rugged men and rugged women. Hallelujah. 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 See, every cauldron of darkness bewitching my life, every cauldron of darkness bewitching my life, scatter in the name of Yeshua Kodesh, let it be shattered. Every demonic cauldron bewitching your life, be shut out by fire in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Every demonic cauldron be shattered, be scattered, be shattered, be scattered, be shattered, be scattered. Pray the prayer. Every cauldron of darkness bewitching my life, be scattered, be shattered, be scattered, be shattered. And amen. Let me dive deep. Woman, you are braiding your hair. Do you know what happens if somebody takes your hair and go to the coven or the cauldron? Your hair can, can tell where you came from, where you went to. Your hair can talk about what you did yesterday, two days ago, one month ago. Your hair can say where you are going to tomorrow. Is it what you call it? You say, oh, my hair, right? Your hair is a powerful instrument of communication. In fact, your hair is an antenna. So when demonic people that understand what I'm talking about can have uh, your hair, contact with your hair, then they can use it to know your time zone. They'll know where you've been to. They'll know where you're going to. They will know what you want to achieve. They can monitor you with the hair. So what do you do? I've told you, women and men, grab anointing oil. Anoint your head. They will say, oh, sister, let us wash the hair. Say, I washed it already this morning and I dried it. With the hair. Because maybe then they have the eye to see that your hair is anointed. They say, can we wash it? Say, no, don't wash it. I already washed it yesterday. We know the trick. I'm telling you the truth today. Don't say, uh, uh, well, my sister, let's wash this. No, don't wash it. It's already washed this morning. Because when they wash the hair, they wash it away. Whatever you pray on that hair, they're washing it with their soap. Then your hair becomes dry. They can comb it and take the hair. Comb it and take the hair. Don't allow it. Say, uh, sister, I, I want to wash my hair now. I will shampoo it and I'm coming. <laughs> Amen. So I shampoo my hair. I have a shampoo here and I have a dryer here. And I shampoo and come in. Don't worry, I'm going to set my hair. When I come, braid it, okay? Say, so, okay, sister. When you come, say, braid now. Don't do no shampoo. <laughs> Anoint the hair and speak the word. Anyone that will take my hair or my DNA, to program evil, let their leg be broken to pieces. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? That was how I went to a saloon. The lady that was with me, one, they had five finger, one finger came out from here. I said, ah, really? <laughs> and I said, all oh, these women, wow. You see, there's a five finger, another one here, six, like this. Like this. Finger. I said, what is this? So I was looking at the thing. 
Is this really a finger or they put a witchcraft, maybe the hand of a chicken? Yes! I said, what is this? Then she saw me. He said, ah, sorry, sir. I said, what, what happened? Then I stood like that, like a soldier. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Be careful. All right, let's go forward. What is the agenda of the evil cauldron? What is the agenda of the pot? What is the agenda? Number one agenda is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The agenda of the witchcraft cauldron is to steal, is to kill, and to destroy. That's the agenda. They are used to manipulate the lives of people. Hallelujah. They want to bend lives. From being what God has designed them to be originally. They want to bend the life. Evil cauldrons are used to bewitch and to remotely control the lives of their victim. For example, a person that has lived in America for 30 years suddenly gets repatriated back to Ghana. For what reason? Because of witchcraft operated covens and cauldrons. What is the agenda of the coven or the cauldron, the pot, the pot? They are mainly used to do enchantment. Enchanters and diviners employ them to carry out their evil assignment. When we say enchantment or enchant who are, who are enchanters? Enchanters are the ones they wake up every three o'clock. You say, Why are you waking up at three o'clock? I am praying. No, I'm, what are you praying for? Enchanters, right? And they can pray from three to four. They will say, uh, Let me give you a name. I'll give you a, a name. They will say, John Doe, John Doe. You will not make it. You will not make it. You will not make it. John Doe. John Doe. You will not make it. You will not make it. John Doe. John Doe. You will not make it. You will not make it. John Doe. John Doe. You will not make it. You will not make it. John Doe. John Doe. See, do you see what I'm saying? It. That is who they are. They are in the church, oh. That your girlfriend or your boyfriend or but you tell them your secret plan. Oh, um, hello, Cynthia. I'm going to Germany tomorrow. I'm going to go and sign that contract. Eh, okay. In the night. John Doe, John Doe, you're not going to Germany. You won't go to Germany. You won't go to Germany. You won't ah. They as you were trying to go to Germany, you cannot go to Germany. Why? Because somebody is spending the night chanting your name. Every day and every night. Say my name. Become poison. Say my name. Become poison. In the mouth of the wicked. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. My name. Become poison. In the mouth of the wicked. My name. Become poison. In the mouth of the wicked. My name. Become poison. In the mouth of the wicked. My name. Become poison. In the mouth of the wicked. My name. Become poison. In the mouth of the wicked. My name. Become poison in the mouth of the wicked. My name become poison in the mouth of the wicked. And amen. And amen. And amen. They use the pot to do enchantment. They also use the cauldron to put sickness and disease into the life of victim. If you are hearing me today and you always see yourself in a, in a hospital bed, that give you injection is the portal. They are using the pot 
to be pumping. I am praying for somebody hearing me today. Any man or woman programming sickness and disease in your life. Okay. Father, I the program that program. Let them have the taste of their own medicine. Let them have the taste of their own medicine. Whosoever putting sickness and disease in the life of the anointed, oh God, my Father, let them have the taste of their medicine. Let them have the taste of their medicine. Let them have the taste of their medicine. In the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are the uses of the cauldron? They use the cauldron to pollute destinies, to defy destinies. Water from evil cauldrons can be used to bait people in the spiritual realm. They can, be, they can use the same water from the cauldron to force feed them and pollute their lives, to pollute their body organs, to pollute their kidneys, to pollute their life. Then they'll begin to have sickness like diabetes, HIV, asthma, and even cancer. Why? Because the cauldron is used as an instrument to pollute the life of destinies. What are they using the cauldrons for? They use the cauldrons to summon people satanically for judgment. They use it to summon people diabolically for judgment. That is why, you know, I said, I said, when you come to the place of God, you need to have understanding. The throne of God is justice and what? You don't remember. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You need to know. Because when the witches are operating, is total judgment. There is no witch that will say, I summon John Doe. John Doe, appear. Appear, John Doe. I love you. I prophesy blessings. You are going to prosper. You are a rich man. It's a lie. Go ask somebody. When they summon John Doe in their in their in their courtroom, hey, come and see. It's John 10 10 to steal, to kill, and to destroy, and even to exchange. What is the agenda of the courtroom? Diabolical cauldrons are used to carry out satanic transfer and exchanges. See any voice calling my name into any cauldron. See any voice calling my name into any cauldron. Say it again. Any voice calling my name into any cauldron, say it again. Any voice calling my name into any cauldron, be silenced by fire in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Any voice calling my name into any cauldron, be silenced in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Any voice calling my name into any cauldron, be silenced. Yes. Silence them. Any voice calling your name to any cauldron, silence them. Silence them. And amen. And amen. And amen. What are the agenda of the diabolical witchcraft cauldron? You know, witchcraft cauldron, I did not introduce it to, to tell you the fact. Witchcraft cauldron is a tool of witches. You have the witchcraft cauldron, you have the altars, and you have, I will tell you about that another time. But the Lord just has to attack this one today that I will explain to you the, the later one, the next, maybe tomorrow or something, or maybe on Monday or Sunday. So these are the tools that they use. But see, when you know, you know, because they know that you know, they say this one he knows. That's why you need to know. 
Hallelujah. What is the agenda of the diabolical witchcraft pot or witchcraft cauldron? The cauldrons are used to monitor the lives of people. Diabolical pots or cauldrons are used to drink the milk and eat up the goodness hmm, in the lives of the victims of witchcraft hours. They use the cauldron to eat and drink the milk and honey of the destiny of the children of God. That is why I used to pray one prayer. Any power eating and drinking the milk and honey of my life, die! Do you know now? In that pot, in that cauldron, they use it to drink the milk and eat the food and the goodness of the life of the people. So you say, say any power that has ever tasted my blood, vomit it and die. Say it again, any power that has ever tasted my blood, vomit it and die. Say any power that has ever tasted my blood, vomit it and die. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Hallelujah. Witches and wizards use diabolical pots to drink the milk and honey of their victims. I am praying for you. Anywhere they call your name for evil, the thunder of God would answer. Diabolical cauldrons cook and eat up people's organs. They cook their flesh. There was a church that a sister was attending. I won't call the name of the church. But the church is a very popular church. Yes. Say, Pastor, Pastor. I had a, I had a, a dream. I saw the, the man of God with a big pot. And people's money were there. They were standing the pots. I said, well, huh? it's a cold drop now. Said, what, what, what should I do? I said, pack your load. Run away. <laughs> Amen. You know, those days I used to be very, very hot. Now very nice. I don't like, I know I'm taking it easy now. Amen. Hallelujah. Diabolical cauldrons are used to program affliction and problems into the life of the people. You know, many years ago, we were invited for a program. So they, they put us in a, in, a, in a house, in accommodation. So you know, as pastors and ministers, we don't normally sleep. So as we were resting, we saw a man. The man passed through the wall. And the man was programming affliction and problem in the life of people. So, we say, ah, what is this? In America, not in Sudan, no. In America. He? See, this is crazy, oh. And we saw the man, the man did not hide himself. They call him Don. So, we have to pray a prayer of judgment. We decree death upon Don in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Diabolical cauldrons are used to sponsor failure. You that always come in, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I just want a contract of $5 million. I always tell you, if you don't have the weight to pray like us in the upper room, don't give your testimony. Keep it to yourself. There are some witches out there that will come to that your church. They will say, Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. That's one a contract yeah, two days ago, two million dollars. Thank God uh, my daughter is going to Japan next week. They will send their, their gang. Did you hear that lady? Testimony? Go after her. Anyone that is assigned to go after you, let their leg break. I said so, yes. Anyone that has been assigned to go after the anointed, let their leg break into pieces. 
Let all the evil that they intend against the anointed backfire upon them in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Evil cauldrons or evil pots program evil into the life of people. For example, they can program accident. They can program disaster. They can program tragedies. They can program sickness. They can program the spirit of dog. The spirit of dog, you know, when you see yourself, you are supposed to be anointed, but you're having sex all the time in the dream. You know you have a problem. That means you are dealing with a coven and a cordrum. They are programming the spirit of dog into your life. They can program the spirit of snail or snail. You know when you see when they program, they send the snail, snail would appear. Pa! Say, Jesus, what is this? It's from the coven. I'm sending back to the sender every tortoise, every snail that has been assigned against you. I return it back to the sender. Every spirit of the dog to, to, for you to be sexually molested in the dream, return it back to the sender. Every evil assigned against you, return it back to the sender by the power in the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. Hallelujah. 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 Close your eyes, everybody. See, every satanic program originating from any diabolical codrum against my life, every diabolical programming originating from any diabolical cauldron be reversed by the blood of the Lamb of God. Every satanic programming from any diabolical cauldron, every satanic programming from every diabolical cauldron against my life and destiny be reversed, be reversed, be reversed by the blood of the Lamb of God. Every satanic programming originating from any evil cordon against my life, let it be reversed in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, and return back to the sender. Say, evil programming assigned against me Evil programming assigned against my children. Say it all. Evil programming assigned against me. Evil programming assigned against my spouse from any courtroom. Be reversed by fire. Be reversed. 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 Yes. Every programming from any cordrum against your spouse, against your children, against your life, let it be reversed. Every evil programming from any cordrum against your destiny, against your academics, let it be reversed. Every evil cordrum against your life, against your career, against your place, from any coven, let it be reversed. 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 In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, every satanic programming from any coven, from any codrum against your marriage, against your children, let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. And amen. And amen. And amen. Say evil bird. Say coven bird. Say, cordrum bed assigned against me 
fall down and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray that prayer. Call drum beds as signed against me. Fall down and die. Call drum beds as signed against me. Fall down and die. Call drum beds as signed against me. Fall down and die. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. Covum beds are signed against my life. Uh, fall down and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Every covum bed, every cordron bed are signed against my life. Uh, fall down, die. 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 Yes. He by fire by fire, he by fire by fire, he by fire by fire. Every coven bed, every cordon bed, I sign against my life. Fall down and die. Every coven bed, every cordon bed, I sign against my life. Fall down and die. Every coven bed, every cordon bed, I sign against my life and destiny. Die, 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 die. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Every coven bed, every cordon bed, I sign against my life. Die by fire in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Oh yes. Oh yes. And amen. And amen. And amen. Say with me loud and clear. Evil part. Evil part. Used to manipulate my star. Break in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Break the pot. Break the pot. Every pot of darkness assigned against your star. Break, 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 break. Yes, I break it in the name of yes. Every pot of darkness assigned against my star. I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it. I break it. I, yes, every pot of darkness assigned against my star. I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it. Yes, every pot of darkness assigned against my star. I break it, 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 I break it. Break the pot. Break the pot. Break the pot. Every pot of darkness assigned against my star, it shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. Open your mouth and pray. Pot of darkness assigned against my star, break by fire. Break, 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 break. Yes, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Let the pot of darkness raised against your star begin to break. And amen, and amen, and amen. So who are the individuals? Who are the personalities behind the Dabolica quadrum? Who are them? Who are this set of people? There are people that have cordrum in their home. They come to church. They read the Bible. Psalm 4, Psalm 3, pure zugu zugu. So, who are these people? Who are these people? There are several powers that use. The pots to harass people because when you know you can speak to the pot, you know, the pot is eight. <laughs> mm. 
You can talk to the pot. Anyone that will call my name in a pot, let so and so and so happen to them, so so and so and so time. The pot knows. Because you have spoken. There's a prayer we used to pray in those days. Very rugged. Now, I'm very nice now. We'll come to a particular place. We'll just pluck some of the plants around there. We will be speaking oracles. We'll take we'll call them, we'll speak, we'll speak, we'll speak. Then we'll go. When the Obia man wants to walk, now begin to use the nature to walk, it will not work. Let me not talk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Let me just let me preach. Hallelujah. So who are these people behind the evil pot? Number one. Witchcraft powers, including the eaters of flesh and the drinkers of blood. Now, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood are marine witches. And the weapon against eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood is the hot coast of fire of the living God. They hate the prayer like they like madness. You just stone them with the call, just stone them. Bah! They hate the prayer. Who are these people behind the Codrum, household witchcraft, your brothers, your sisters who are challenging your destiny, blood hunters, star hunters, destiny hunters. There is something I can tell you if I like, why, why we tell you to fast and avoid meat, right? Sometimes. There's something I can tell you behind the not not on this public folio. When you eat a particular food all the time, your blood becomes bitter. When is the gozu will come to taste your blood? When you know, you know. I won't say it here. Those of you who are close to me, I will tell you the secret. When you eat that that food, I'm talking about don't eat that food. If they taste your blood, your blood is always bitter. They will say, Chia, her blood is always bitter. I don't know why. Hallelujah. Yes. Who are the people or the powers behind the cauldron? They are the star hunters, the destiny killers. They want to kill the destiny. They are the Obia men, Obia women, the evil priests, all these prophets, prophetess, prophet of this that people are falling up and down. Oh, prophet, they are all zugu zugu. Some of them are zugu zugu. Not all. But many of them are zugu zugu. I'm telling you as a fact. It's not, I'm not telling you as a fact. Because what you don't know is that the, some of the prophets, are on the same level as witch doctors. The difference is that they have Bible. It's like, in this ministry, right, all the teaching that we know, instead of what we used to glorify God, this is not so, not this ministry, not this ministry, right? They now use it for the other side. But everything that we are teaching you here it's for you to use it to glorify the name of God. We're not charging you money for anything. It's up to you whether you like it or not. I'm saying the truth. We're not saying, oh, you must pay your tithe every week, every month. We're not asking you, are you faithful? Is this ministry feeding you? Are you being fed here? So you know whether it's a lie or I'm saying the truth. But all these people that will come, yeah, they will charge you this, we charge you that. We don't charge anything. We don't want you to be a customer to anybody. We want you to be empowered. Who are the powers behind the courtroom? Sorcerers, enchanters, 
They come to church. They are pretending that we don't. They think we don't know. We are just waiting. We are counting time for them. Enchanters. Ah! We are counting time for them. Time. They are hired to plan sickness to waste people's life. Who are these people behind the courtrooms? They are central demonic powers. They are environmental powers. They are wicked, diabolical neighbors. See the case in New York. A man that was killing people in New York buried women on, in the beach. Huh? A lady that was escaped, running for her dear life. Uh, in the same beach, knocking at doors, hoping, help me, help me, help me. The neighbors did not open the door in America. And she was hunted down by the killer and they killed her. For what? Just to tell you where you are living. Don't deceive yourself. I'm in Toronto. And so what? Who is your neighbor? Oh, I'm in America. And so what? Oh, I'm in London. London yourself. The truth you know, it shall make you free. The diabolical neighbors. The early you open your eye, Lord, open my eye. Show me. Let me know. Before you got to knock at your uh, enemy door. Uh, help, neighbor, help me. Oh, <laughs> Neighbor will not be saying, help you for what? <laughs> No. Who are the members that operate this country? Envious witchcraft powers. Envious unfriendly friends who go to any length to stop you. How can I tell that I'm a victim of a, a courtroom? What are the things, what, what are the symptoms for me to know? Number one symptom, profitless hard work. You are going to, the person, not you though, the person will work hard and hard and hard and hard. And you will not see the end and the beginning. We call it profitless hard work. How would you know? Sometimes bewitchment. Somebody called the one and said, Pastor, uh, don't, isn't the Holy Spirit very cool and very soft? Why are you saying Holy Ghost fire? I said, really? You know why? Because the person has heard another sermon somewhere. Today, somebody called me. I think she's here today. We're talking about the New York incident. And I said, she said, Oh, Pastor, Every evil will return back to the sender. I say, God bless you. But there's somebody on YouTube who is preaching. Don't pray, return to sender. But see what they did in New York. Right? You can know the people are members of society. Oh. But born again is, you know, born again, that's true. Oh, pastor, is too hard. Oh, pastor, we're supposed to be lovers. Love what? Love iniquity? No. Love what? There's time to love. There's time to cry. There's time to return to sender. But you see, we, are, we, know, we don't have any foundation in Christ. We are swayed by the wind, by the right. When there's a crowd, say, oh, that, that uh, uh, YouTube video, there's crowd, they let me go. <laughs> Hallelujah. What are the symptoms of this diabolical quadro? Bad luck, untimely death, demotion, terrible dreams, dream attacks, non achievement, wastage. In those days, one of the fastest ways to pray when you are going through difficulty, just wake up at in the morning. Between hours of 12 and, and, uh, and 5, just say, Father, I take authority over every courtroom, every altar where they mention my name. And I, you know, you destroy the altar.
that some people, if you want to know, they want to fast. They will go to the forest and fast. Have you heard of that before? Okay, you will hear. They begin to wonder, who is calling your name in the forest? They are in the forest to do night vigil. In the forest. You are in your own house doing night vigil. But they will go to the forest and do night vigil. Then you see yourself in the dream, in the forest. You say, ah, pastor, I was, in a, I was in a dream, in the forest. They were having a church inside the tree. Yes, because there are some people. Yes, 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 yes. When you know, you know. See, I set ablaze every congregation of witches. I set ablaze every congregation of witches inside the woodwork, inside the forest, burn them to ashes. Yes, I set ablaze every congregation of the witches against me inside the woodwork. I roast them to ashes. I command the fire of the living God to locate them. Anyone that gathered together in the forest or the woodwork against me, holy go fire pursue them. Holy go fire pursue them. Whosoever, any man or woman that gathered themselves together against me in the woodwork, in the forest, let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Whosoever that gathered themselves together against me in the forest. Turn down the living God. Uproot them. Destroy them. 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 And they amen. And they amen. What are the symptoms of the witchcraft cauldron? People who have been ordained to help you disappear. Sickness, oppression, rise and fail, leaking pocket, poverty, near success uh, syndrome, automatic failure mechanism, vagabond lifestyle, stubborn blockages, embargoes, stagnancy, satanic delay of goodness, and diversion. Then you know there is problem. Then you know there is problem. What is the way out of the problem of diabolical cauldron? What must I do? What should I do? Beloved, number one. Repent from every sin, known and unknown. And I want to just help us, those of us who don't know what to do to repent. If you want to repent, write this scripture down. Homework. How, how can I repent? Number one scripture, Psalm 32. Write it down. Psalm 32. Psalm 40, Psalm 103, and Psalm 23. These are the scriptures of repentance. If you don't know what, when we say repent, maybe it's a big English language, right? And you always say, but I repent. Okay, maybe you're not doing it correctly. So this is repentance. Psalm 23, Psalm 103, Psalm 40 and Psalm 23. Go and read it. When you read it, then you understand what it means to repent. People ain't repenting, no. People want to eat their cake and have it. Uh, Pastor, pray for me. Am I a prayer collector? So if you want to repent genuinely, Genuine repentance. Psalm 32, Psalm 40, Psalm 103, Psalm 23. Read them. They repent. There will be genuine repentance. Surrender your life to Yeshua, Jesus Christ.
and get to know him. There's no battle that he cannot win. Get to know Yeshua, Jesus Christ. There's no battle that he cannot win. Number three, forgive all that have used witchcraft weapons against you. Don't be like Jezebel. Let it go. Forgive those that have used witchcraft weapons against you. Number five and number four, go on a rugged prayer offensive. Take the battle to the enemy's camp. Use targeted prayers in the book that will give you the book to pray. Read it, pray. Don't be, don't be lazy. Oh, pastor, don't be lazy. Oh. Pray. So when you pray like pastor, you are, you are walking altar. As you are walking, there's prayer in you. Maybe 1,000 prayers in you. You are walking. You are not, you know, you are praying. Pray the prayers you are asked. Go on the offenses. Take the battle to the enemy's camp. Using rugged prayers and also employ fasting. I told us, if you want to have results, from overcoming witchcraft powers. Avoid meat. Avoid fresh fish. I'm saying the truth. Number five, ask God to reveal to you the source of your problem. Number six, go into warfare prayers and issue judgment on every evil part. What did I say? Bring judgment, command the hammer of God to break the pot, destroy their pot, and the powers behind it. Command them to obey the voice of God and be destroyed. Number seven, pray the prayer of divine restoration. Satan will say, for example, born again, you have prayed, you have come to the, our place. Okay, continue your prayer. Born again, we freeze. Because born again, and they are not taught how to say it like this. Now, let me teach you. When you destroy the courtroom, when you come to the enemy's camp, when you destroy their work, when you, when you come to the end, then you will now shout, I demand restoration. <laughs> he says, shout. Everything that was stolen from me, I demand restoration. You shout. Do you understand? Because the devil is saying, ah, these ones cannot, they cannot pray. Oh. They don't even understand the art of prayer. So you must demand restoration from everything they stole from you, or killed, or stolen, or exchanged, or destroyed. Then finally, you must learn to barricade yourself with the fire in the blood of the Lamb of God. Fire in the blood of the Lamb of God. Those of you on Zoom, what happened to your video? Zoom people. I need to see your faces or I turn off your Zoom quickly. Hallelujah. This person here. Where, where is Rita? What happened to your Zoom? Hallelujah. All right. I want to close here today. Our taking um, uh, uh, prayers and testimonies. We're going to take. Um, uh, we're going to take uh, um, prayer requests. So please, if you are here today, you have a prayer request. You have a prayer need. Please send your prayer request. Amen. We are here for you to help you to pray for you. The adventure that you are here, because there are prayers I want to pray against the cauldrons and the covens. Amen. You are not born again. Amen. You don't want to suffer again. I just want you to just bow down your head today. As I call the choir to come and sing that song, tell the Lord as you go into warfare prayers that him that hear prayers, if your case, if your marriage, if your boaz, if your spouse, is inside the courtroom that cooking him or her. Tell him, as I repent my, of my sin today, Lord, as I pray, let my marriage come out. 
Let my job come out. Let my life come out. Do you understand what I say? I want to call upon the choir to come quickly. The team, if they are ready. Hallelujah. God bless. Just begin to talk to the Lord now. Ask Him to forgive you. To cleanse you of every sin of unrighteousness. Everything that you have done against Him in your thought was and did. Ask Him to, to cleanse you. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Oh God, I come before you today. Have mercy upon me. Oh God, I give you the praise. I give you the glory. Forgive me. Wash me and cleanse me with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Ask Him to forgive you of every sin of unrighteousness. Every sin that took you to the coven or the cauldron. Because sometimes, this coven, they have a law. So Lord, if I have used my mouth and my head, my hand, to now commit a sin, that I repent of it. Lord, forgive me. If I have offended my neighbor that carried my matter to the coven, I repent of it. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me, O God. Wash me and cleanse me with the blood of the Lamb of God. Talk to him now. Mommy, I'm calling to come now. Come now. We're going to close with some rugged prayers as we close. That is, mommy, is, that God is calling you to come. Calling you to come. Calling you to come. Say with me loud and clear. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you tonight admitting that I'm a sinner. And right now I choose to turn away from my sin. I ask you to cleanse me by your blood of all unrighteousness. I believe that your son Jesus Christ died on the cross to take away my sins. I also believe that he rose again from the dead so that I may be justified and made righteous through faith in him. I call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua, to be the Savior and the Lord of my life. I declare right now that I am born again. I am a child of God. I am free from sin. I am full of the righteousness of God. I am saved in the name of the Lord Yeshua Kodesh. 
I choose to follow you. And I ask that you fill me with your power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And amen. Now listen to me. If you are that one that prayed this prayer, the admin just sent you the prayer request. We want to hear from you. Amen. We want to hear from you. Hallelujah. We want to hear from me wherever you are. We are trusting that the Almighty God will fight for you and give you victory over all the agenda of hell in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. And amen. I want to just pray for you quickly as we we'll, we'll take our prayers. Heavenly Father, you are the God that answered by fire. I come before you today and I seek your face, even in the altar of fire, that these ones, O oh God, shall not be a cast away, that they have come willingly to serve the only true God. Even Jezebel was so disobedient and rude after seeing the fire of the living God. But Lord, I cancel to these ones today that in their heart of hearts, they love you and they want to follow you and they want to serve you. Daddy, I pray today, remove their name from every cauldron. Daddy, as they open their mouth to pray, let the cauldron explode by fire. Hey, I pray that let their enemy have respect for them from today. Remove their name from every cauldron. Remove their name from every pot. Remove their name from every cauldron. Remove their name from every pot. Remove their name from every cauldron. Remove their name from every pot. Let the calabash and the pots of darkness raised against my people be destroyed. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed. Daddy, 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 daddy. When they call upon you, O oh God, may you answer them by fire. As you answer the light child by fire, Daddy, answer them. Answer them now. Answer them. Answer them here. Answer them. Answer them now. Answer them by fire. Unto every man, unto every boy, unto every girl that have seek your face, O oh God, today, O oh God, let the problem be buried. Be buried now. Be buried. Everyone that came here today, bringing their petition before the Almighty God, I pray, oh God, let their problem be buried. 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 Let every problem that they came to the upper room, let it be destroyed in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Daddy, I call upon your name today. You said that each time we call upon your name, that we shall be saved. I call upon you, O God, today. Save my people. Save them, O God. Let them not be a castaway. Those in London, those in Canada, let them not be the castaway, O God. I pray, O God, today, shine your light, O God, upon their darkness. Open their eyes, O God, that they may see and know the true God. Let every diabolical cord and chain of darkness and zugu zugu holding my people be destroyed today. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed today. Be destroyed now by the power in the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. Lord, I soak these ones today in the blood of the Lamb of God. And I say, I forbid any backlash and I forbid any counterattack by the power. In the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh, I collect the prayer request that they have, oh God. Some of them are crying, remove my name from the pot of darkness. Some are saying, remove my name from the pot of wickedness. Today, I place the petition before heaven. Let your name be removed. Let your name be removed. From every pot of darkness, let your children's name be removed by the blood of the Lamb of God. I remove your name now. 
I remove your name from the pot of darkness. I remove your name from the pot of darkness. I remove your name from the pot of darkness. I remove your name from the pot of darkness. I remove your name from the pot of darkness. Let your name be removed from every pot of darkness. Let your name be removed from every pot of darkness by the power in the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor for everything that you have done and everything you continue to do. Let your name alone be glorified. I claim that deliverance. I claim testimonies. I claim that deliverance. I claim that breakthrough. I claim that deliverance by the power in the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. I pray for that sister over there. I pray for that sister called Lucy. Every coven serpent assigned against you, die from today in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. I pray for that sister in the name of Yeshua. Let every veil of darkness programmed against you catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Daddy, 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 daddy. You are the glory and the lifter up of heads. These ones are crying. They are saying, lift up my head, O God, so I can be delivered. Today, let every head that have been bowed, let every head, hear me, be lifted up, be lifted up, be delivered, be lifted up, be lifted up, be delivered. I pray for that woman in London that they took this, your son and they comb out his head. Every single glory that they comb out of your son, every single glory that they comb out of your son, I demand restoration. I demand restoration. I demand restoration. Even you, every cold cauldron in Congo, here Congo, every coven in Congo, Brazzaville, in Sierra Leone, where they are talking about you, ah, receive holy judgment. Father, from today, you said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. This was here today. They are your daughters. They are your sons. Anyone that would touch them, oh God, answer by thunder, answer by fire, answer by thunder, answer by fire, answer by thunder, answer by fire. Oh God, my Father, every part of darkness, even in, even in Canada, even in Abata, Toronto, Every satanic altar and cauldron cooking their flesh. Break, break now. Break, break now. Break, break now. You the altar by the riverside. By the waterside. You the altars of darkness in Toronto. And sign against the anointed ones. Break, break now. 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 Father, I stand... In the name of Yeshua, with the prayer warriors all over the world, I agree with them right now, with all the prayer warriors in heaven and on earth. Let cauldron altars break. Let coven houses break. Let cauldron altars break. Let coven houses break. Let cauldron altars break. Let coven houses break. Break! Let cotton altars break! Let coven houses break! Let cotton altars break! Let coven houses break! Let cotton altars break! For that today, every case fire that they have my sister and they have my brother, I light it up by fire now. I command their case fire to begin to catch fire, to begin to catch fire, to begin to catch fire, to begin to catch fire. Today, let it be a surety that their names have been removed from the coven, that their names have been withdrawn from the altars, that their names have been removed 
from the coven, that their names have been withdrawn from the altars, that their names have been removed from the covens, that their names have been removed from the altars. I soak my prayers in the blood of the Lamb of God. I soak the prayers of the blood of the Lamb of God in the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. And amen. And amen. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch my soul. As I was praying unto my Yeshua. Somebody touch my soul. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch my soul. As I was praying unto my Yeshua. Somebody touch my soul. Right there where you are. I like you to say with me loud and clear. Everybody together now. Everybody right on your feet. Everybody right on your feet. Everybody. 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 Thank you, Lord. Say with me loud and clear. Evil quadrum. Assigned against me. Shut up in the name of Yeshua Kodesha. Pray that prayer. Every evil quadrum, every diabolical quadrum preached against my life, shut out unto desolation in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Every demonic quadrum preached against my life, shut out unto desolation in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every demonic quadrum preached against my life, let it shut up. Let it shut Oh, yes. Let it shatter. Let it shatter. Every cauldron pitched against your life. Let it begin to shatter by fire. Command every cauldron to shatter. And amen. And amen. Say with me loud and clear. This city. New York. This city, Canada, this city, America, this city, London, this city, India, this city, Australia, this city, Nigeria. This city, South Africa, shall not be my codrum, shall not be my codrum, shall not be my codrum in the name of Yeshua. Pray that prayer. This city shall not be my codrum. Oh, yes, my flesh shall not be found in the midst of any codrum. This city shall not be my cauldron. Pray the prayer. This shall not be my cauldron. And my flesh shall not be found in any cauldron. Pray the prayer. This city shall not be my cauldron. This city. Oh, yes. Pray the prayer. This city shall not be my cauldron. And my flesh shall not be found in any of the cities. Oh, yes. And amen. And amen. And amen. Say, every power using the cauldron to manipulate and control my life. Any power using the cauldrons to manipulate and control my life fall down and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh open your mouth and pray that prayer any power using the cold drum to manipulate my life fall down and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh any power using the cold drum to manipulate my life fall down and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh 
pray that prayer. Whosoever using the cotton to manipulate my life fall down and die. And they men, and they men, and they men. Say strong men in my family. Strong men in my family. And in my place of birth. Using my life to renew and elongate their life. Say strong men in my family. Strong men in the place of my birth or origin. Using my life to renew and elongate their lives. Fall down and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray that prayer. Any power in my family uh, using my life uh, to elongate their life, uh, fall down and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Any strong man in my family using my life uh, to elongate their life, uh, fall down, die, 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 fall down, die. Yes, pray the prayer, pray the prayer. And they men, and they men, say wicked men and wicked women using pots to feed my life and goodness. Wicked men and wicked women using evil pots to feed on my life and goodness. Vomit them, die. Vomit them. Die. Every wicked man and wicked woman using evil pots to feed on my life. Vomit them and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Every wicked man and wicked woman using evil pots to feed on my life. Vomit them and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Vomit them. Die. Vomit them. Die. Yes. Pray the prayer. Pray the prayer. Any wicked man and wicked woman using the evil pot to feed on my life, vomit them and die, vomit them and die, vomit them and die. Yes. And they amen, and they amen, and they amen. See, every power and personality in my environment, every power and personality. In my environment, using cold drums against my life and destiny. Okay, now. Say it again, say it again, say it again. Any power using cold drums in my environment, fall down and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray that prayer. Any power in my environment using cold drums against my life and destiny, your time is up. Fall down and die. Any power or personality in my environment using cold drums against my life, against my destiny, your time is up. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, every power or personality in my environment using cold drums against my life and destiny, your time is up. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, every power and personality in my environment using cold drums against my life and destiny. Fall down, die. Fall down, die. Fall down, die. Fall down, die. Yes. Yes. And amen, and amen, and amen. Say with me loud and clear, I release my life from every bewitchment and control. I release my life from every bewitchment and control. I release my life 
from every bewitchment and control in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. I release my life from every bewitchment and control. I release my life from every bewitchment and control. I release my life from every bewitchment and control. I release my life from every bewitchment and control. I release my life. I release my life. I release my life from every bewitchment and control in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Release your life from bewitchment and control. Yes, I release my life from every bewitchment and control. And amen. And amen. Say, oh Lord, empty every satanic vessel filled for my sake. Oh Lord, empty every satanic vessel filled for my sake. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, O oh Lord, empty every vessel, feed for my sake. Empty every satanic vessel, feed for my sake. O oh Lord, empty every satanic vessel, feed for my sake. Empty them, empty them, empty them, empty them, empty them, empty them. O oh Lord, empty every satanic vessel. That is for my sake, in the name of Yeshua Kodesh, O oh God, my Father, empty every satanic vessel, feed for my sake, empty them, empty them, empty them, yes, empty them, empty them, empty them, and amen, and amen, and amen. See, any power assigned to waste my destiny, any power Assigned to waste my destiny, be wasted by fire. Pure career, be wasted by fire. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, any power assigned to waste my destiny, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. Yes, he by fire, by fire, he by fire, by fire, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. Open your mouth and pray, open your mouth and pray, open your mouth and pray. Any power anywhere assigned to waste your destiny. Let them be wasted. Let them be wasted. Let them be wasted. Let them be wasted. Open your mouth and pray. Any power assigned to waste your destiny. Let them be wasted. Let them be wasted. Let them be wasted. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. Any power assigned to waste my destiny. Be wasted by fire. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Whosoever that have been assigned to waste your destiny, let them be wasted. Let them be wasted. Let them be wasted. Open your mouth and pray. Whosoever assigned to waste your destiny, let them be wasted. Let them be wasted. Open your mouth and pray. Any power from Syria alone, any power from Congo, any power from Liberia, any power from Nigeria, any power from Kenya, any power from Botswana, any power from Guyana, any power from Belize, any power from Haiti, any power from America, any power from Toronto, any power from Canada, any power from London, any power Assigned to waste your destiny. Let them be wasted. 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 He by fire by fire. 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 In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, open your mouth and pray. 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 He by fire by fire. He by fire by fire. He by fire by fire. Oh yes. And amen. And amen. And amen. Say everything stolen from my life. 
by the cauldron of darkness. It's a command. It's a command. It's a command. Pray be ruggedly. Be rugged. Be rugged. Say, everything stolen from my life by the cauldrons of darkness. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Everything stolen from my life by the cauldrons of darkness. Be rest out sevenfold. Be rest out sevenfold. Be rest out sevenfold in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything stolen from my life by the walk of darkness. By the column of darkness, be rest out by sevenfold. By sevenfold, I command restoration. Everything stolen from our life, let it be rest out. 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 In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, anything stolen from my life by the kingdom of darkness, let it be rest out. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, be rest out. Be rest out. Be rest out. Be rest out. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Anything stolen from my life by the kingdom of darkness, let it be rest out by fire. And amen, and amen, and amen. Eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. Eating flesh and drinking blood. Eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. I command you, eat your own flesh Drink your own blood. Eat your own flesh. Drink your own blood. Eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. I command you, eat your own flesh. Drink your own blood. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. Eat your own flesh. Drink your own blood. Eat your own flesh. Drink your own blood. Eat your own flesh. Drink your own blood. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. Eat your own flesh and drink your own blood. And amen. And amen. And amen. See, I break every bondage with every cauldron. See, I break every bondage with every cauldron. See, I break every bondage with every cauldron against my life and destiny. Break it now. Break the bondage. Break the bondage. Break the bondage. Yes, I break it. I break it. Yes. Break it. Break it. Every bondage. With every cauldron. Break it. Break it. Yes. Break it. Break it. And amen. And amen. And amen. Say every cauldron of darkness. Caging my destiny. Say louder. Say louder. Every cauldron of darkness. Caging my destiny. Be smashed into irreparable pieces. Be smashed into the parental pieces. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, every cauldron of darkness caging my destiny. Be smashed. Be smashed into irreparable pieces in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. See, I smash and I burn every cauldron of darkness. See, I smash and I burn every cauldron of darkness. See, I smash and I burn every cauldron of darkness. KG my destiny. KG my destiny. See, I smash it and I burn it. See, I smash it and I burn it. See, I smash it. Yes, smash and burn. Smash and burn. Every pot, every coven of darkness caging your destiny. Smash it, burn it. Smash it, burn it. Smash it, burn it. Smash it, burn it. 
Say, I smash the cord drum and I pawn the cord drum. Say, I smash the pot of darkness, caging my destiny, and I pawn it. I smash the pot and I pawn it. I smash the pot and I pawn it. Yes, smash it. And they amen. And they amen. And they amen. Say, every instrument of darkness used against me. Catch fire and be destroyed in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Every instrument of darkness used against me. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Oh yes, oh yes. And be destroyed, and be destroyed, and be destroyed. Let them catch fire. And amen, and amen. See any power calling my name at midnight hour and 3 a.m. See any power calling my names at the midnight hour and 3 a.m. Run mad in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Yes, by fire, by fire, whosoever calling my name, calling your name at midnight hour, let them run mad. Let them run mad. Nobody will deliver them in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Say, whosoever, any man or woman calling my name and my children's name at midnight hour at 3 a.m., I command you, Romad, 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 Yes, they will Romad, they will Romad, they will Romad. Yes, I program madness into their system. Let them run mad, let them run mad. Oh God, my Father, whosoever calling my name at midnight hour and 3 a.m. Let them run mad. 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 Let nobody deliver them. Let nobody deliver them. I withdraw the message of God. I withdraw the message of God. Oh God, my Father, if I be a child of God, let them run mad. 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 Whosoever, whosoever calling your name for evil, let them run mad. Let them run mad. Yes. And amen, and amen, and amen. Say it again loud and clear, whosoever calling my name at midnight hours between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. Oh Lord, let them run mad in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Pray the prayer. Let them run mad. Let them run mad. Let nobody deliver them. Let them run mad. Their cup is full. Their cup is full. Whosoever calling my name at 12 midnight and 5 o'clock, let them run mad. Nobody will deliver them until they confess or they will die. Whosoever calling your name at the midnight hour, let them run mad or they will die. And amen. And amen. And amen. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again louder. Whosoever calling my name at midnight hour. And 5 a.m. Run mad and die in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Romad, 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 
Roman, 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 he by fire, by fire, he by fire, by fire. Let them run mad, let them run mad. Whosoever chanting my name at the midnight hour, oh God, let them run mad, let them run mad and be naked, and be naked. Oh God, my father, whosoever calling their name for evil, Romad, 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 yes. It by fire by fire. And they men, and they men, and they men, say angels of the living God. Go through the land of the living and the dead. Angels of the living God, go to the land of the living and the dead. Bring back to me every good thing that I've lost to the ministry. Yes, every good thing I've lost, bring it back to me. All my riches, all my blessings, all my glory, all my, all my honor, all my favor, all my wisdom, all my strength. Let the angels of the living God go to the north, to the south, to the east and the west, to the land of the living and the dead. Bring back everything that they took from me. Yes. And they amen. 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 Send the fire, oh yes, the Holy Ghost fire, oh yes. Send the fire again today, the Holy Ghost fire, oh yes. Send the fire, 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 the Holy Ghost fire, oh yes, oh yes. Send the fire again today, the Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire, send the fire, 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 the Holy Ghost fire, send the fire, send the fire again not today, the Holy Ghost fire. See everything in my life and destiny that the cauldron have vandalized. Everything in my life and destiny that the evil cauldron had vandalized be repaired by fire. Be repaired by fire. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh, every good thing in my life and destiny have been vandalized by the evil cauldron. Be repaired by the blood of the Lamb of God. Yes, I am praying for you and every good thing that your life and your destiny have been vandalized by the evil cauldron. It shall be repaired. It shall be repaired. It shall be repaired. Open your mouth and pray. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Yes. Every good thing that have been vandalized, be repaired. And amen. And amen. And amen. We have two prayers more to go today. I told you. This is Oko Choku now. The earthquake of deliverance. Arise and quake for my sake. Earthquake of deliverance. Arise and quake for my sake in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Yes, earthquake of deliverance. Arise and quake for my sake. Yes, quake, quake for my sake. Quake for my sake. Quake for my sake. Let the earth quake of deliverance. Quake, quake for my sake. And amen. And amen. Now point your hand to the earth. Like this. You see the way I did my hand? Like that. To the earth. Everybody please. Point the hand like that to the earth. See, after the order of Elijah the prophet... 
Et. Oh, et. Open up your mouth. Consume every power that wants to attack me. Consume every power that wants to reinforce against me. In the name of Yeshua, could the prayer prayer after the order of the Jeremiah the prophet, et, et, oh et, hear the voice of the Lord. Open up your mouth, open up, up your mouth, open up your mouth and consume every power that wants to attack me and consume any power that wants to retaliate and consume every power that wants to reinforce as a result of my prayers here today in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Oh, earth, oh, earth, earth, hear the voice of the Lord. Open up your mouth. Consume every power that wants to attack me. Consume every power that wants to retaliate. Consume every power that wants to regroup as a result of my prayers today. Consume them for me. Consume them now. Consume them for me. Any power anywhere that wants to challenge me or regroup or reinforce, let the earth swallow them. Let the earth consume them. Let the earth swallow them. Let the earth consume them. And amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Thank him now. We are done now. Thank him. It is done now. It is done now. See, I demand sevenfold restoration of my job, of my finances. I demand sevenfold restoration of my blessings. I demand sevenfold restoration of my riches. I demand sevenfold restoration of my goodness, of my mercy, of my favor, of my glory. I demand, demand it. Demand it now. Everything the covenant has stolen from you, demand it. I demand sevenfold restoration. Everything they stole from me by the covenant of darkness. By the color of darkness, I demand restoration. And amen, and amen, and amen. Father, it is written in your word. In the book of Isaiah 149 and Micah chapter 3. It's written in your word about the judgment of the Lord. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 11, you place a sword against the courtroom. I bring holy judgment, Makasikri, against every courtroom of darkness against me and my people. I bring holy judgment against every diabolical zugu zugu courtroom of darkness against the people of God. Let now the angels of God, the hacking, unto the command, execute the written judgment. 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 The written judgment. I forbid any backlash. I forbid any counterattack. I forbid any retaliation by the power in the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh and Amen. Thank him now. Thank him now. It is done. Thank him. Appreciate him. It is done now. Thank him. It is done. It is done. It is done. The God that answered by fire. You have answered me by fire. You will answer me by truth. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. The God that answered by fire. You will answer me by fire. Come and answer me by fire. Today, close your eyes. I want to pray as I close. Father, 
I stand upon your word in the book of Psalms, chapter 15, verse 5. You have said, Gather together my sins and those that have a covenant with me by sacrifice. In this altar of prayer, after the order of the prophet Elijah, I put the stones in order. The stones representing the 12 tribes of Israel. Let the God of Abraham, let the God of Isaac and Israel answer by fire, 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 answer by fire. And this one placed the offering before you. Daddy, in the evening time, he that answered by fire shall answer in the name of Yeshua Kodesh. I put a seal on every testimony. I put a seal on every breakthrough in the blood of the Lamb of God. In the name of Yeshua Kodesh. Thank you, O Lord, for the testimony, signs, and wonders. I claim victory. I claim testimonies. I claim divine favor in the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh. And amen. And amen. You are delivered now. You are restored now. You are set free now. You are blessed now. God has made your feet a hind feet. Hear me. You are marching on to the mountain top of life. Whether you are in Australia or New Zealand, get ready now. You are going forward. You are breaking forth. You are breaking forth in the north. You are breaking forth in the south. You are breaking forth in the east. You are breaking forth on every side like the brush of many waters. It shall be well with you. It is done now. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank him. Thank him. It is done now. Amen. Amen. The God that answered by fire, let him be my God. The God that answered by fire, let him be my God. The God that answered by fire, Fire, let him be my God, the God that answered by fire. Fire, let him be my God, the God that answered by fire. Fire, let him be my God, the God that answered by fire. Fire, let him be my God, the God that answered by fire. Fire, let him be my God, the God that answered by fire. Fire, let him be my God, the God that answered by fire. You will answer me by fire. Come and answer me by fire today. Oh, yes, oh, yes. The God that answered by fire. You have answered me by fire. You will answer me by fire today. The God that answered it by fire. You have answered me by fire. You will answer me by fire today. The God that answered it by fire. You have answered me by fire. Come and answer me by fire today. The God that answered it by fire, you have answered me by fire. Come and answer me by fire today. The God that answered it by fire, you will answer me by fire. Come and answer me by fire today. Oh, yet. The God that answered it by fire, you will answer me by fire. Come and answer me. By fire today, the God that answered by fire, you have answered me by fire. Come and answer me by fire today. This is the word of knowledge now. The Lord just told me, let me say it now. 
the kingdoms that gathered themselves together. Hear me? They have been set ablaze now. You will hear the news. You will hear the news. The courtroom that gathered together against the anointed, they have been set ablaze. The angels of the living God, ah, have gone ahead. The Egyptians you saw yesterday, you will not see them again. From today, you will see the finger of God in every area of your life. It shall be said of you, God has delivered you and set you free. In the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh and Amen. I forbid any backlash. I forbid any counterattack by the power. In the mighty name of Yeshua Kodesh and Amen. God bless you. We love you. God bless you. We love you, Pastor Charles. See you tomorrow. God bless you. If you have been blessed, encouraged, motivated, helped, and or inspired by this message, would you pray about making a donation to support this ministry? Our mission is to take the gospel of our Lord Jesus to the ends of the earth. We reach our community. We expand his kingdom. We fight darkness. Worship the creator. Feed the hungry. Embrace the Lord. Clothe those in need. Heal the broken. Grow deeper in faith. Fulfill our mission. You can donate a one-time gift or be set up for recurring donations by going to our website on www.upperroomfireprayer.org and clicking on Give Online or text to give any amount to 408-217-1688. You can make the check out to the Upper Room Fire Prayer Ministry and mail to P.O. Box 12352, Pleasanton, California, 94588. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Remember this Jesus Christ is Lord. May God bless you. Divine Encounter London, UK. It's time to experience the annual Freedom and Healing Conference by Dunamis Upper Room Fire Prayer Ministry London, United Kingdom, and Pastor Charles. It's time for a divine encounter. Spirit, soul, and body from Wednesday, August 30th through Sunday, September 3rd. Are you looking for a change? Does your past have your mind hostage? You can't move forward into what God has for you. Life has you feeling down. Well, this is the conference for you. You will be empowered through the Word of God. Discover what God has for your life as you bring your family and friends to this dynamic, powerful, and inspiring conference. Date Wednesday, August 30th to Sunday, September 3rd. 
four-day in-person evening session at the venue. Wednesday to Saturday, 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., general deliverance. Private in-person one-on-one prayer counseling, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. daily, registration required. Two-day morning online session, prayer fest and deliverance via Zoom only. Online Zoom meeting ID 886-8860-4935, passcode 076487, Thursday and Friday, 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Sunday, September 3rd, 2023 at 11 a.m., anointing and thanksgiving service. Venue, Durning Hall Community Center, Aston Mansfield, Earlham Grove. Forest Gate, London, E79AB, United Kingdom. Admission is free. Registration required. To avoid disappointment, register now for a private session. Please get in touch with our booking team directly at 447438-281759 or 447440463840. Invite your friends. Indeed, the presence of God is here.